Welcome back to the Men's Media Network. This installment, I want to deal with something that is very near and dear to a lot of people's hearts. It's this election year. And I don't really want to get political in this election year, but I want to deal with the obvious. The collapse of society as we know it. So many empires, so many great, great nations have come and gone. And a lot of times, it was by their own hand or from inside. And, you know, people have been coming to me. Ever since The Walking Dead's been on, since season one. Saying, Chris, what do I do when society as we know it collapses? And I kind of laugh about it and I said, well... You're going to be fine unless Starbucks and Route 21 is important to you. Now, as men, we know better than that. We know better. We know that as long as we have guns and ramen noodles, we're going to be fine. You see, we have to protect what is ours. We have to eat what some would not consider great cuisine. We're going to have to skin animals that normally we would swerve to miss in the road. We're going to have to learn our own conservation. Which will basically mean we need to kill something that's ain't and eat it. We're going to have to learn that the only law that we're going to have is what we make for ourselves. So we better be careful how we deal with our neighbor. We're going to have to learn that the jobs and the skill sets that we thought were irreplaceable, that society could never do without, are no longer useful. Just an example of that, funeral homes. Um, we'll probably go back to digging them ourselves. And I'm glad my buddy in that business has a skill set to skin a critter and to cook it. That's how we're going to have to think, guys. We're going to have to think about dry goods, we have to think about clean water. We're going to have to think about first aid. You know, if you have an injury, you are the doctor now. Which, you know, if you're within walking distance, you can come see me. And I've always got the answers with, with medical stuff. And I've always got on hand my Icy Hot and Brewer's Yeast. And as the apocalypse gets closer, the collapse gets closer, I'm going to stock up on more and more of those things. But you think about Band-Aids and Brewer's Yeast. you got to have it. The things that you used to run to the doctor for and get a shot. You know what? No more. Be ready. Be ready. Get used to toughing out a headache now without Tylenol. Get used to the Infantigo. Learn home remedies. Use them. Be prepared to, you know, make your coffee out of twice used grounds. It's going to have less caffeine, taste a little skunky, but you know what? That's going to be the world we're going to live in. And it's not going to be zombies. They're not going to be the obstacles. And I don't think it's going to be like the purge, because the purge only worked because those were city people that liked Starbucks and Route 21. You see, country folks will survive. They will. And I'm going to say this, and you can get online. You can research frontier tactics, how to make your own things. I suggest piling up junk, scrap metal, all those things now. Not only will your home be safer from tornadoes, but you'll have a readily available supply of materials to improvise from more junk more dry goods weapons for sure and some of you are going to say well chris there'll be weapons everywhere by the time i need one like sam elliott and we were soldiers no unless you're really really good with a slingshot you're going to need weapons too see think i'm encouraging you to think and if you can't skin an animal 
If you can't catch fish and you don't like ramen noodles, you better pray that Jesus comes back before Hillary gets elected. This is the Men's Media Network, and to everybody, I love you. My homies in the county in cell block six, look here. When the collapse comes, y'all are probably going to be free. Peace.